all um, 10 of the shows. Yes. I followed them, surrounded and everything. And I didn't know about the collective until we were invited. And I consider this one of the highlights of my life, knowing about this song. Yes. I tell people it's just such a great feeling to walk in here and see all of this art. So I call this an ode to Onyx. Yes. <laughs> and some of you may remember some of these pieces, and some of the pieces are here right now. Uh, and I apologize, I could not get over 300 names and pieces in here, <laughs> but you'll get the idea. Ode to Onyx. Thank you. No Jacob Lawrence in the flesh, no James W. Washington in the flesh. Two giants gone in the same year. But people accustomed to losses never let losses stop them. Horton siblings Robert and Annie P. stepped up with the for-profit Northwest African American Fine Arts. Thank you for the vision. Visions. From 34th Avenue to galleries in Seattle, Portland, and Richland, Art Knot Terminal, Belltown, to up where we belong. <laughs> All of us, thank you. Innovators, wider views, perspectives galore. Robert, Al, Esther, Carletta, Deanna, and Ashby. If truth be told, a number of folks get a lot of credit. For at least 14 years now, Seattle has known other artists, black artists, are here. Or as Michael would say, we out here. <laughs> Everyone is welcome to see, to visit, to join. More than 300 artists ages 18 through 75, coast to coast, and Mother Africa, that is directly from Mother Africa, Libya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Tunisia, old pros at exhibiting, next to folks having their inaugural showings. Media of every kind, Marita and all of her found stuff, Engineer Ernie Steele, Carletta's Ribbon and Lace, Lou's African Fabric, Michael's Photography, Pam's Acrylic, Jasmine and her Egg Tempera, and don't forget the digital stuff. Subjects of every kind, black women, beautiful black women respected. Brian's fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, such as in Al's sisters and seniors, such as in Chaz's Obama wins. Look at George with all those eyes plus tears. And his favorite model is his wife, Nakisa. Look at that hair everywhere in all textures. Think of all that history that occupies and preoccupies canvases of Adrian and Robert. There's politics with Esther and her hall. Music, be it an instrument or an artist of another kind. Guitars, pianos, trumpets, saxophones, Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, a Madden's trumpet man. Nature everywhere, ancient times to today. Canvases packed full like her song a sparse like Al's real <clears throat> Influences of every kind, Jacob Lawrence, James Washington, Picasso, and Beard. Every color there is, reds, oranges, yellows, golds, blues, greens, and purple. A little in Brian's dandelion, uh, a lot in that dress, or a lot in Ashford's cityscapes, and just color in Marie's. You have to see black artists. You have to see black artists to see color come alive. Have you seen what Bunny Harper can do with eyes and color? From that book over there. <laughs> Bold colors, subdued colors, watercolors, jewelry, wearable art. No one labeling anything inappropriate. 
and always dependable, Connie and Antoinette and Lola everywhere, whenever. In 2009, to add interest, breadth, and depth, Carletta suggested a relationship between Onyx and AWA. And as they say, the rest is history. A history we plan for forever and a day. Yeah. Yeah. Please, please take the time to look at the poetry. I mean, just listen, think about the poetry, look at the paintings. It's just really great. I, I, there's nowhere else in Seattle you can see anything like this. Nowhere.